Barclays Kenya has reported a drop in after-tax profit to hit a net of 7.6 billion shillings for the year ended December 2013. The result represents a 12.7% decline compared to 8.7 billion shillings realized a year earlier. The bank attributes the performance to increase in operating costs, which has seen the bank increase investment in technology as it focuses to improve its core banking platform. Safaricom has embarked on a partnership with Commercial Bank of Africa to increase the number of M-Shwari customers in the coming months. The move is expected to grow the M-Shwari customer base from the current 6 million. Since its launch in November 2012, the service has enabled Kenyans to save and borrow loans against their savings. Meanwhile, M. Copa Solar has announced it has closed its most recent round of funding, raising 1.72 billion shillings to fund expansion of their customer base from the current 50,000 homes to 1 million by the year 2018. Elsewhere, the private sector is being challenged to invest in the processing and commercialization of traditional foods such as cassava and sweet potatoes as an alternative form of starch other than maize. The new project will assist Agra to deploy more smallholder farmers in the improved cassava value chain. We cannot come for you know, all these produce from the farms in their raw form. So to what extent can the smallholder farmers participate in semi-processing? Denis Otieno, Citizen Business.